Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve complex number. Complex number is very important. This chapter is very important for set exam. So we'll solve it. So, and we'll solve it from the book College Panda. First one, for i equal to root over minus one, which of the following is equivalent to five minus three i minus minus two plus five i. At first, I will tell you something here i that means imaginary number equal to root over minus one this one comes from uh, we can say this equation that is uh, if i say x square plus one equal to zero then we can say x square equal to minus one that means x equal to root over minus one and that is actually a imaginary number so i equal to root over minus one we will use this i equal to root over minus one for every math of complex number. Now, at first, five minus three i minus minus two plus five i. So if I do this one as, uh, if I simplify this thing, then what will we get? We'll get five minus three i minus minus, that should be positive or plus two. If you multiply minus and plus, then you will get minus, that is five i. So what will be our answer? We, our answer will be 5 plus 2, that is 7, uh, minus 3i, minus 5i, that is minus 8i. So I think C will be our answer. Now, number 2. Number 2 says, i equal to root over minus 1, which of the following is equal to i into i plus 1? So what does i into i plus 1 means? That means actually i square plus i. And what does i square means? i square means minus 1 plus i. So here our answer should be i minus 1. Now number 3. Number 3 says i equal to root over minus 1. Then we have to find out the value of i to the power 4 plus 3 i square plus 2. So what does i to the power 4 means? i to the power 4. Look, i square equal to minus 1. If i square this equation then we will get i square equal to minus 1. And if I do the square again, then i to the power 4 should be 1. So here, i to the power 4 will be 1 plus 3 into, what is i square means? i square means minus 1 plus 2. Now, 1 minus 3 plus 2, that is, you know, 2 plus 1, that is 3, 3 minus 3, that is 0. So here, number C will be our answer. Now, number D. Number D says, if the expressions above is equivalent to a plus b i, where a and b are constants, which, what is the value of a? That means, there, this is algebraic expression, 6 plus 2 i into 2 plus 5 i. We have to convert this one into a plus b i. How can we convert this thing? We have to multiply. 6 times 2 plus 5y, 6 times 2, that is 12, plus 6 times 5, that is 30i, plus 2i times 2, that is 4i, plus 2 times 5, that is 10i square. Now, 12 plus 30i plus 4i, and what does i square means? We have already know that if i equal to root over minus 1, then i square should be minus 1. Just we are square this equation. 10 i square means 10 into minus 1. So here we will get 12 plus 30 plus 4, 34 i minus 10. 12 minus 10 that is 2 plus 34 i. Now, just equivalent to this one, a plus b i. Then look at this, a represents actually 2, b represents actually 34. That means we have to find out the a, a equal to 2. But if the question asks you to find out the b, then 34 will be your answer. Number 5, number 5 says which of the following is equal to 3 into i plus 2 minus 2 into 5 minus 4 i. So look at this, 3 into i plus 2 minus 2 into 5 minus 4i, okay? Just do the multiplication. 3 into i, that is 3i plus 3 to the 6 
minus 5 to the 10 minus and minus that is positive 2 times 4 that is 8i now look 3i plus 8i that is 11i and 6 minus 10 that is minus 4 so minus 4 plus 11i so i think number c will be the answer now number six number six is i equal to root over minus one which of the following is equivalent to this one now look at this 3i into i plus 2 minus i into i minus 1 at first we have to do the multiplication 3i into i plus 2 that means you know that is 3i square plus 3 to the 6i minus i times i that is i square minus into minus that is plus i into 1 that is i so 3i square means i square equal to minus 1 so 3 into minus 1 plus 6i minus i square means minus 1 plus i so we can say minus 3 plus 6i plus 1 plus i so what will be our final answer that should be minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 plus 6i plus i that is 7i so minus 2 plus 7i so i think number b will be our correct answer now number 7 if i equal to root over minus 1 which of the following is equal to i root over 93 look i root over 93 so we know something i equal to root over minus 1 i square equal to minus 1 i to the power 4 equal to 1 so now look at this i to the power 93 i to the power 2 into 46 plus 1 so i to the power this here this i is the base so we can say i into i to the power 2 into 46 i to the power 1 and since this one is the square form that means that is actually minus 1 okay that is actually minus 1 to the power 46 i square equal to minus 1 to the power 46 into i to the power 1 means i minus 1 to the power even number you have already know that minus 1 to the power even means positive 1 minus 1 to the power odd means negative 1 okay so minus 1 to the power 46 means positive 1 and here i so our answer should be i so number d should be the answer of number 7 now number 8 number 8 says which of the following complex number is equivalent to 3 minus i whole square so 3 minus i whole square a minus b whole square means a square a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square 3 square means 9 minus 3 to the 6 i i square means minus 1 so 9 minus 1 that is 8 minus 6 i so 8 minus 6 i will be the answer of number 8 now number 9 number 9 says 5 minus 2 i into 4 minus 3 i which of the following is equal to the expressions above so if i look at this carefully we have to multiply the algebraic expressions 5 minus 2i into 4 minus 3i that means 5 times 4 in minus 3i that is 5 times 4 that is 20 minus 5 3 is a 15i minus 4 times 2 that is 8i minus and minus that is positive and 2 3 is a 6 so 6i square so 20 minus 8 plus 15 that is 23i and minus 6 because i square equal to minus 1 so 6 times minus 1 equal to minus 6 so 20 minus 6 that is 14 minus 23i so 14 minus 23i will be our answer so we can say number b will be the answer of number 9 now number 10 number 10 says which of the following is equal to 1 by i plus 1 by i square plus 1 by i to the power 4 here i equal to root over minus 1 
So one by i plus one by i square plus one by i to the power four. I will give you some tricks here. So listen, i square equal to minus one from where? From i equal to root over minus one. Then we can say i into i equal to minus one. Then we can say i equal to minus one divided by i. So here uh, we can say one by i equal to minus i. If i multiply these equations by minus one, then we'll get at last this equation. So one by i equal to minus i plus one by i square. I square means minus one. And what about i to the power four? That is positive one. So minus i minus one plus one. So our answer should be minus i. So minus i will be the answer of number 10. Now number 11, number 11 says, which of the following is equal to one minus three i divided by three plus i. So to solve this type of problem, look at this. 1 minus 3i divided by 3 plus i. We have to do another thing. We have to multiply this numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So what is the conjugate of 3 plus i? So conjugate, conjugate, conjugate of 3 plus i, 3 plus i will be, will be 3 minus i. So we have to multiply numerator and denominator by same number. So look at this now, at denominator, that is a plus b into a minus b. So we can construct this into a formula that is a square minus b square. And what about the numerator? That is one times three minus i, that is three minus i, minus three, three is a nine i, minus minus plus, so three i square. So here, 3 squared that is 9, i squared means minus 1, so that should be positive 1, 3 minus 10i, i squared means minus 1, so that should be minus 3, so 3 and 3, we can cut it, so minus 10i divided by 9 plus 1, that is 10, so we can cut 10 by 10, then minus i will be our answer, so minus i will be the answer of number 11. Now our last problem, our last problem is number 12. Number 12 says, which of the following complex number is equivalent to this one? Two minus i divided by two plus i. Similar way, we'll just multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So two minus i, and that is two minus i. And listen, that should be two a plus b into a minus b, that is four minus i squared and a minus b whole square because two minus i and two minus i both are same thing. So a, uh, two minus i into two minus i will be two minus i whole square. So a square minus two a b plus b square. So we can say four minus four i minus one divided by four minus i square means minus one. So at last we can say our answer should be 4 plus 1, that is 5 uh, from this line, and 4 minus 1, that is 3 minus 4i. So from this line, we can say there should be 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5i. So 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5i. So number A will be our answer. Thank you very much for attending the class. See you soon on next class. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much.